Hello and happy Fridays. Hope you guys are doing well and welcome to the channel, Fridays with Brandon. Today is Fluke Fridays, episode number 79. I missed last week. We were off for uh, Black Friday here in the U.S. and I was with the family and just didn't think about making a video. But this week I uh, was just thinking I don't have time to do a whole lot of editing so I thought I'd throw it up a quick video to kind of show you guys a tool that I don't think I've done a video on yet and might be useful for Christmas gift ideas if you have a tool junkie in your house and doesn't really need the professional tool, but, um, well, I say professional. This really could be used as a professional tool. It doesn't need the industrial um, safety ratings and things because they're going to be using it in more commercial applications. This could be a great tool for you, and I love to highlight the Fluke 320 series. So we're going to talk through the 325, what the difference between that and the 324 is, which I think for most people out there, the 324 will do the job. And then what would be the difference in like a 323 as well. So let's jump into it. Okay. So what we have here is the Fluke 325. And I just have always loved this series since Fluke first came out with it. They are smaller. They fit in the hand easier. Uh, they don't take as much take up as much space and when they first came out with the 324 it was just price spectacular it has gone up in price over the over time but um i think when the 324 first came out it was like 150 bucks which is just awesome to have a flute clamp meter at that price range now with uh just inflation and everything else they're a little more i think they're closer to 250 or something but check it out regardless okay so We'll talk through a few of them. Um, another thing I'll just highlight for people that are buying gifts for students, if if you have somebody that's going to a trade school and uh, you're buying a gift for a student, make sure that you let the student know that they uh, and keep the receipt. And they can take that receipt online and go to fluke.com or Google um, education discount and they'll get a rebate uh, in the form of an Amazon gift card. Um, if they can prove their student ID and that they're going to be using it for student stuff. So take advantage of that if you're using that for a gift idea for a student that you know. Okay, so the 325, um, all of the 320 series, I believe even the 323, are now true RMS, which is a big upgrade from the previous 322 and the 321 uh, because you're going to be less fooled by non-linear loads like uh, LED lighting circuits or VFDs. Next thing you'll notice is really just all the features that you really kind of need in a clamp meter. You've got volts, you've got resistance or continuity, uh, capacitance, so for those HVAC applications. I know some of you HVAC people will say, well, we also need microamps. If you need microamps, you got to get the 902, but most of the time, if you're not checking uh, flame indicators, then you can do everything in the HVAC world with this. You have temperature, so it comes with a, a K-type thermocouple that can plug in with banana jack plugs here to get your temperature, or you can get one of those banana jack plug adapters to a thermocouple and use any K-type thermocouple accessory with it. And then here you get uh, current, and you can do both AC or if you click this, you can switch to DC current, okay? And then switch over here, and you have frequency, so you can do frequency. So pretty robust clamp meter, smaller form. This one, uh, the 325, what makes it different between the 324 is it can do DC current. Uh, the 324 only does AC current. It's Both will do AC and DC voltage, but the 324 will only do AC current, whereas this one will do three DC current. The vast majority of people that would be looking at this for more commercial applications don't need DC current unless you're dealing with DC motor somewhere. The other thing is frequency. Uh, you do get frequency with the 325 that you do not get with the 324. Um... But I just wanted to highlight the 320 series. The 324 is, I just think, one of the best all-around meters for a commercial uh, person. Smaller, handheld, comes with the backlit screen, 
uh, does temperature, does capacitance, and both of them have the hold. Oh, the other thing with the 325 that the 324 does not have is the 325 has min-max capability. So if you don't need min-max, DC current, or frequency, then really look at the 324. Um, I love that meter. So, and the 325 is great too. It just costs a little more. Okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. You enjoy this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and don't forget if you've watched more than three videos go ahead and hit subscribe it really helps the channel and it costs you nothing thanks and have a great week